guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name's Jen I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW blue plan today's Friday so you know what that means it's weigh-in day workshop topic recap day and of course I'm going to share with you how my week went we'll talk a little bit about how things changed from last week for me if you didn't see last week's weigh-in video on Friday definitely check that out but I had my first gain on the scale for months and that was because I was on a little bit of a mini vacation seeing my best friend in San Diego so it was the first gain that I have had literally in months so I talked about kind of how that made me feel and then this week I want to share with you how I rebounded from last week and from that gain and if it worked out and I was able to lose some weight this week so again if you're new make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video I do these weigh-in videos every Friday so you don't want to miss out also thumbs up this video if you are here for the weigh-ins and of course check that description box out down below you're going to find the link to head over and take advantage of my nutrition coaching I do offer everything from macro and calorie calculation one-on-one -on -one coaching group coaching highly 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 recommend having me determine your macros and calories it's important for you to know what your goals are to shoot for every day when it comes to calories carbs fats proteins and of course how to incorporate that into the ww program if you're on that program so definitely check out my nutrition website down below you're also going to find links discount codes to all of my favorite things and the link to join me over on facebook we'd love to have you be part of the community over there. So let's jump in to this week's WW weigh-in, workshop topic, and of course a recap on my week. So first let's talk a little bit about my week. So like I mentioned, I did have a gain last week of 1.2 pounds coming off of my vacation to California, which I explained in that video that I was completely okay with that because I had such a wonderful, wonderful, well needed vacation. So what I did is immediately when I returned from vacation, I flew in on a Monday and I came in late in the day. So Tuesday I got right back on track. And ever since then, I've been killing it. I did have two higher calorie days, not crazy, but a little higher calorie as well as went over my points, essentially used my weekly points over the course of a couple of days, just because life happened and I ended up being out and about a little bit. If you haven't seen Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, check that out because I show you guys how real life works when you're on a weight loss program. So check that video out if you haven't already seen it. So overall, I killed it. I went to Jazzercise several times. My goal is three times a week and I've also been killing that goal as well. So since returning from vacation, I have been doing extremely well. I'm back on track and that's the big thing. I really want to share this with you guys because I get this question a lot. How do you stay motivated? How do you get back on track? The bottom line is you just have to get back on track, whether it's the next meal, the next day, just don't wait for the next week, the next Monday or the next month. Get back on track as soon as you can. And for me, that was the day that I returned from vacation or the day after I returned from vacation. Now, the day I flew in was a little bit off track just because of flying and being stretched for time and options at the airport. But the next day I told myself, you get back on track. And I did just that. So you have to remind yourself why you're on this weight loss journey which we're going to talk about this a little bit later and remind yourself that it's important just to get back on track. So that's kind of how my week went. And speaking of why we're on this weight loss journey. So WW is doing kind of a fun series at the workshops where they're revisiting old topics, fan favorite topics, topics that people really enjoy and keep coming back and asking questions about. So this week's topic, week one of the fan favorite series is about your why. In order for us to be successful on a weight loss journey or a health journey in general, even if it has nothing to do with weight, is we have to have a why. We have to have a vision and a reason behind why we're doing what we're doing. Maybe it's seeing a certain number on the scale. Maybe it's getting a great report the next time you visit the doctor. Or maybe it's fitting into your favorite pair of jeans. Every single one of us, no matter where we are on our weight loss or health journey, has a why. And we need to really center and refocus on that why when things get tough. 
when we fall off track, when we start eating all the things, when we lack motivation, we need to go back to why we're choosing to do what we're doing. So like I mentioned, we need to revisit our why throughout our weight loss or our healthy lifestyle journey because it tends to go on the back burner. It tends to be forgotten. So there are key elements as to why you need to revisit your why. Details are of the essence when it comes to establishing a why. And again, you need to revisit those details and those reasons often. So we're going to talk about four tips from WW on how to determine your why. And these four tips are the ones you reflect back on when you're struggling. Number one is think off the top of your head. Fast answer, fast response. What is the number one reason you want to lose weight? Go. Whatever answer just popped in your mind is the number one reason that you need to have a why. Once you have a fast answer on why you want to lose weight, now it's time to dig deep. How are you going to feel when you accomplish that number one item, that why of losing weight? How are you going to feel? How are you going to look? How's it going to positively impact your life? So let's say that the first thing that came to mind was you're out of breath taking the stairs. So how are you going to feel when you're not out of breath taking the stairs? Is it going to be a momentous occasion when you can fly up a flight of stairs and not be out of breath at the top. So that's when you start to dig deep and figure out the why behind the why. Tip number three is ask yourself the same question. Again, go back to number one. What is the reason you want to lose weight? Go. Keep asking yourself that question until you truly, truly uncover the why behind your lifestyle journey, your weight loss journey, getting fitter, healthier, happier. You need to make sure that you dig deep and discover truly the reason why you're on this journey. And number four is personalize that. Take your most authentic answer, the one that popped in your mind first over the course of asking yourself that question several times. And that's your why. That's the reason you're here. That's the reason you're on Weight Watchers, you're counting calories, you're going to the gym, you're working out regularly. That's your why. Remember that, write it down, savor it, and revisit it often. Like I said, motivation fleets. When we're on any type of journey, not even weight loss or health, motivation fleets in our job, motivation fleets in our fitness, motivation fleets in our eating. I mean, you name it, and motivation goes away eventually. So that's why it's so important to establish a solid why and revisit that why often so it's always in the forefront of your mind when you're on whatever healthy lifestyle journey or weight loss journey that you've chosen to be on for you. So now let's talk about my week. Like I mentioned, I got right back on track and I killed it this last week. I felt really, really good about my choices. Like I mentioned, Wednesday was a little bit of a challenge. I ended up having to fly by the seat of my pants and again, just check out Wednesdays what I eat in a day. Not to mention there's some really fun hauls in that video as well, but I killed it this week. And when I stepped on the scale, I am down 1.8 pounds. So not only did I lose the 1.2 I gained, I lost an additional 0.6. Listen, I'll take it. That's amazing to me that I was able to take it off in less than a week and add a little bit to that. So I am officially now down 40 8.2 pounds, which is so incredibly exciting. I'm still a bit from my 50 pound goal this year. That 48 pounds encompasses the weight I lost in 2019 and also the weight that I've lost in 2020. So I'm really proud of myself. I can't wait to hit 50 pounds down overall. And I'm really, really still shooting to hit 50 pounds total in the year of 2020, which means that my overall weight loss would be over 50 pounds. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm right there. I'm 1.8 away from hitting my 50-pound mark. So I'm super excited. Again, it's just extra motivation for me. And I wanted to share with you just kind of briefly what my why is. And I, I went through these steps. I asked myself that same question. Why do I want to lose weight over and over and over again? And you know what answer I came up with? And the answer that popped in my mind several, several times was I just want to feel better in my body. I just want to feel better. I want to pass a mirror and not shy away. I want to put on clothes and be like, dang girl, you look good. Not like, oh my gosh, what can I wear to cover up this, that, or the other? I just want to feel good about myself. I want to go to the grocery store. I want to go out in public. I want to ride rides and not worry about how I look. That's really honestly my why. I'm very fortunate that my health is great. I don't have any underlying health issues. So for me, my why stems and how I feel 
feel. And I can visualize how I'm going to feel when I'm at my goal weight. Because I've been there before. I've been at my goal weight or very, very close to it. And I remember how I feel. I remember it like it was yesterday, how I felt in that moment. So that's what I want back. And that's my why. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me on today's video. Again, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. Also, I would love it if you join my community and subscribe and turn your bell on again so you don't miss a single video. Stay tuned for a massive, and I mean massive, stock up grocery haul tomorrow and check out that description box again for nutrition coaching as well as links and discount codes to everything that I'm obsessed with and the link to join us over on my community on Facebook. We're 17,000 members strong and growing, and we'd love, love, love to have you. Thank you guys again. Happy Friday, my beautiful, wonderful friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's ginormous grocery haul. Bye.